In today's FX markets, let's take a look at the Euro futures as they're moving lower today. Euro futures lower for a second session, and today we're looking at the Euro futures down about over a little over three quarters of a percent currently, right around the 109 level, which is basically the lows of the day. And when you look at some of the factors contributing to the price action, a couple of things influencing the markets. Early in the session, it appeared to be some technical selling uh, coming out of Europe uh, and some price action, as well as uh, some of the data and some of the information come out of the Eurozone. And uh, we did see some pressure uh, in, in the early parts of the session. And then as the U.S. markets uh, opened up here and we had some data releases here, uh, another couple of influences impacting the markets. Now, initially, the PCE inflation data was pretty much in line or maybe even a little bit better than expected. And we did see a little bit of renewed strength short term. But then we had the PMI data come out about an hour and a half later, and with that, much stronger than anticipated. And that's continuing to create some further pressure on the Euro futures as we move towards the afternoon here. And looking at the general trends, the Euro futures are coming off of basically three and a half month highs uh, in the previous session before reversing and then trending lower once again today. And with that, uh, we're trading back into kind of the middle of the recent range here around this 109 handle. Still at the top end of the price action for the last three and a half months, but uh, giving up some of that higher price action that we initially did see earlier in the week. And also, when you look at the other major FX markets today, really selling pressure pretty much across the board. From a relative strength standpoint, the euro is one of the weakest performers, but we're seeing a pr lower price action in basically all the major FX futures markets. A dynamic here is treasury markets selling off, and uh, with that, we're seeing yields moving some higher today, as well as the dollar regaining some strength after trading down to some of the lowest levels in the last three plus months as well. So some selling pressure here for a second session. The euro futures down about three quarters of a percent on the day, trading right around that 109 handle.